Just like my mailman, whenever he has to deal with my neighbor's pit bull, I'm torn. I am torn on the great debate about what to do with pit bulls in general. The reason why I'm talking about this is because I've just got a, a list of just videos popping into my social media feed and I'm not even looking for them. I didn't bother to search for them. They just popped out of the ether and came into my feed, whether it was Instagram, Reddit, or TikTok, wherever. I was surprised. Uh, and it, it, this all happened in the course of one week. All right, so this is the first video that popped in my feed like a week ago and just started the whole avalanche of pit bull attack videos I just got over the course of the week. And uh, yeah, I'm, I feel like it's putting a rock in a blender. That's how chaotic this one is. So I can't, uh, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what the woman was saying, but it sounded like pass me the dog as if um, the guy could just like chuck it like a football to her. But regardless, it's just zero to a hundred with these things. It, it like, it just goes insane. Like <laughs> you, you could see the guy like, just doing a little tango with the dog, trying to like, steer it away from chewing its arm off and then going for the face. It, especially in a train station where there's loud noises and s just a lot of smells to deal with. Yeah, of course the pit bull is going to get agitated with that. And of course, people in the comments are always separated when it comes to pit bulls. One people blaming the owners, which again, yes, the owners here should have known better that you, you should not have brought not just one. They brought two pit bulls. So that's double trouble there. Uh, and then the fact that they just... Eh, that little tiny leash I don't think would have been enough <laughs> maybe a muzzle maybe something or maybe just don't put them near the train tracks when the trains are you know rustling bustling around that's gonna spook them and when they get spooked they decide to have some face casserole your face and here we see that in the end uh, I don't know what got ripped out of his hand the guy's hand where like snow started flour flourishing in the air but thankfully um, the dogs didn't break free and eat faces but uh, it's that was just the first I have a friend who has a pit bull and um, well they don't live near anything they, they don't live in the suburbs they don't live in like the city they live in like ranch kind of homes whenever I visit them time to time and I feel like that would be the best way to deal with all that like having a pit bull near like public spaces where there's loud noises and everything it, it, it's gonna just agitate them no matter what you do but then you see the suburb side which is in this next video and it's just even more crazy how th this is allowed to happen Cupcake and Sunshine just came across the street to give, you know, little kisses to the new baby. It's sad that you can't even walk outside your house. They weren't even outside in the streets. They just decided to go on the porch and they weren't even spooked. If you see their body language, this seems like routine. They come out like, oh, there they are there again. Hades let out the Cerberus dogs. Time to go back in. No, no fun today. No, the child cannot see outside. But it, it's just stuff like this. As you could see, for starters, again, stupid owners letting the pit bulls just run around like that. They clearly needed to ha be in a, a gated or leashed. But no, they're just 
running around the neighborhood. And this brings me to uh, when I first saw this video, I, it brought me to uh, like a past memory, like it just activated from eons ago uh, when I was still in like middle school and I used to have to walk home. And one time I'm walking home, scrolling my iPhone, you know, I, I should have been paying it more attention. But yeah, um, I, I heard, I didn't hear a bark or anything. I just felt like uh, like hearing the pitter patter sounds. And I turn around and at least a, a few blocks away, I see this dog running at me. And being an animal lover, I'm like, oh, it's a poochie. Now, this wasn't a pit bull. I believe it was like a golden retriever, which is odd what happens next because i never expected a golden golden retriever to act like this but it, it's running at me at this speed and at first i was like oh it's happy to see me can't wait to pet it but then as it started approaching i was like wait a second the body language just seems a bit too tense it doesn't look happy to see me it looks tense coming at me and and the split second before it could get to me i decided i need to just put my entire 12 year old strength into holding its mouth and i'm glad i did because it just it was trying so hard to push towards me and i just i was terrified what am i gonna do i'm stuck in this position holding the jaws of cerberus here and uh well th the best thing i thought of was hey when you when you have to deal with a shark you have to punch it in this nose maybe the same thing will be here so i put all my might in my little tiny 12 year old fist and just smacked it in the nose and it made a sad you know whining pooching dog sound which kind of broke my heart but at the same time you know i i did not want to get eaten or ripped apart but uh that did the trick it backed down turned around and ran away um it's just like i remember the facial expressions the fact that it wasn't barking that's another thing that's uh, uh when a dog doesn't bark it, it, it's always the quiet demeanor that spooks you um but yeah the fact it, it was just running around with no leash no owner in sight you, you shouldn't let your dogs do that it, it's irresponsible and if they hurt someone well not only do you scar the victim or god forbid they die uh you just have this insane dilemma to deal with you know so and and then this was just the suburbs the last video i got was um well i there was actually four videos but the fourth one i i forgot to save it so it's just you know mandela out of existence so i'm never gonna find that i try searching but this last one is still pretty insane the dog was out for a walk with its owner when the jogger came running by in a chicago neighborhood that's when the pit bull actually broke free from its muzzle and went on the attack the jogger fended off the dog as it repeatedly lunged at him the owner did what she could but was unable to control her pet that's when the jogger named nick realized he had to get out of there fast. So he climbed the fence. He sits perched on top, catching his breath before hopping down on the other side to call police. So this is where Nick jumped the fence right here behind me. Matt Micah captured the attack on his home surveillance cameras. I heard a bunch of commotion out front and like a dog. So I peeped out and I just saw a guy jump on top of my fence and kind of just perch up on the top. It was really weird to me, so I asked the guy what he was doing, and he said, oh, dog, dog, the dog is attacking me. The jogger suffered several bites, but did not press charges. Again, owner, not smart. Uh, I don't know what they were holding that dog with, because it might as well have just been a leash made out of wet paper towels, because that dog just sayonara and was straight to going to Chomp City, because I am glad that uh, no one got too severely hurt uh the man managed to jump a fence into someone's yard and uh escape being dinner again it's just the drop of a hat can set a pit bull off the guy was just jogging and it just agitated the pit bull and went to town on him but the thing is i am no pit bull expert i'm no zoologist people smarter than i they know more about this uh, whole little debate that people are having that either A, we should just kill off all the pit bulls and make sure they just never exist again, or 
you know, just uh, they're, they're dogs, you know, the other side is they're dogs, the owners are to blame, make sure responsible owners uh, are the ones adopting these pit bulls. And I say a compromise needs to be made, okay? There's enough evidence, like you could see, I didn't even search for these videos, they came to me, They're just boom, 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 about pit bull attacks. There's enough evidence to show that pit bulls are a danger, so we can't just say, oh, we, uh, th th we shouldn't regulate this, we shouldn't, you know, do anything too serious about this. But the other side is also kind of kooky, because I read some comments of people who are against pit bulls, and they just straight up want to shoot them in the head, like each and every one. And that's, well, that just doesn't seem right to me, because, well, they're animals. And even worse is uh, pit bulls were, you know, bred. Uh, to have these hunting instincts. Uh, so in a sense, uh, humanity gave these instincts to them and now they're like, yeah, w sorry, no no, no, no offense, boom. It just, eh. I feel like pit bulls should maybe, maybe have a pit bull sanctuary, get any wild pit bulls that are caught in, you know, from bad owners or sadly, pit bulls are the ones that are mostly used in illegal animal fights take them to these sanctuaries, let them live the rest of their days, grow old, pass away. Now, when it comes to adoption, I would say just like how my friend lives on a ranch, maybe the people who should be allowed to adopt these pit bulls are people who live secluded, you know, and um, also B, uh, they actually know what they're doing. Like maybe get a license the, the same way that exotic animals, if you want to adopt certain animals, you need to have a license or something. I believe there's a, a some sort of process for that, but you need a license to adopt certain animals to show that you know what you're doing. And I feel like that should be the case. Never may allow the adoption of a pit bull in like these public space areas, you know, these urban areas. I mean, like cities and suburbs, because it just doesn't work. It really doesn't work. Pit bulls just, uh, they get agitated by these things. But hey, it, it's uh, still an ongoing debate. And um, with these rising attacks, I feel like an action should be taken. And I personally had no stake in this before because again, I did not search for any of this. They just were plopped on my lap. At the end of the day, this is something that should be addressed. It is being discussed, but both sides seem to, like one side is a bit nonchalant and the other side is like blood crazy, wants to kill them all. Um, I think the middle path is the right path where both sides need to make a compromise, like regulation needs to be done and not put a bullet in each of their pit bulls heads because again, they're animals, they're just following their instincts. Just curb it, give them sanctuaries let them live out their lives and just be done with it put a comment down what what would you do about it because i'm still learning more about the the whole idea of you know what to do with pit bulls in society and uh would like to know more definitely gonna look up more stuff about this but it's been interesting what i've looked up so far it's uh very interesting topic but yeah that's all there is